This is John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer. It's January the 8th, 2020, 2020. January the 8th. Elvis was born on January the 8th. A different year, but this is my birthday. I'm 77 now. John Wayne Mercure, the Sonneteer. I never dreamed I'd get to the old age of 77. And this sonnet is special because I wrote it uh, January the 6th, 2020. I just wrote it. It's uh, a sonnet I mean. I, I mean this from the my soul. I'm talking to you, soul to soul, the language of the soul. This sonnet is dedicated to the National Choir of the country in Africa, Sudan, where the pharaohs came from, where the pyramids came from, where hieroglyphics came from. They're a great people. This sonnet is dedicated to them. And my videographer, the great Dr. Mohamed Fregan, He's a fabulous man. He's made all these videos for me. I'm so grateful. The word is gratitude. He's from Sudan, and he's a great guy. I, I admire him so much, and he helps me so much. And uh, the choir of Sudan, you ought to hear them. Get on the Internet and have them play the national anthem of the Sudan people of the choir. That's a national choir. And they're one of the best choirs I've ever heard. What I'm telling you is this sonnet is dedicated to them. Why? It's mesquite number two. The miracle of Sonoran mesquite trees. And I'm telling you guys, this is the answer to a lot of things all over the world. The highest poetic art, because art, there's no higher art than poetry. To the answers, poetry answers all of the questions. The answers are simple, yet they're very, very profound. They're blessed with poignancy. They're pregnant with meaning. Silent sounds of poetry that are there, forcing you to think. The language of soul to soul, spirit to spirit. Blessing humanity with a vision, with hope, with technicolor epiphanies. Once, poetry was the language of kings and queens, dukes, barons, regal counts, royalty. They all talked to each other in written language, in poetry, in poetry. It was a high art. It was the balance of genius intellects. They were poised to make a true difference with their poetry. Telling the truth no matter what. The language of righteousness. Thrilling consciences with truth. Everybody has a conscience. The truth is God. The happiness of advanced souls. And I scream from the rooftops, and I'm doing it again. This is Mesquite. Sonnet number two, the supreme genius of that plant, mesquite, sonoran tree. Poetry is saying that it could be eaten again for parched soils. The Altman horticulturist, let me get it right, Altman horticulturist company, and they're real close, they're like 20 miles from where I'm sitting, here in Phoenix on Southern Avenue. And it's telling you they're called altmanplants.com. It's a botanist miracle. No thorns on mesquite trees. It's a divine plan to turn deserts into Edens. Our planet's destiny, all because of a tree. Yeah, the mesquite sonoran tree. The mesquite tree doesn't have any thorns without thorns. It requires scant water, hardly any water. It has really deep roots. It has a deep root system that, guess what? It replenishes nitrogen to the soil. It fertilizes the soil so we can have gardens at the base of the trees. It creates fertile soils. It grows straight in the wood, harvesting valuable mesquite wood, lumber. The wood is very, very valuable. It's excellent wood. And it will enrich arid nations with forestry's blessings. Without number, they'll have mesquite forests everywhere. It's going to be wonderful. I envision 10,000 mesquite trees, mes Sonoran mesquite trees, in Sudan. In 20 years, Sudan will be a Garden of Eden. And we're going to start with Sudan. Why? Because my videographer is from Sudan. And he's got a great father who is a surgeon and a great mother and a great brother and a great sister. And he's my hero. And he's going to help. And the choir is going to do it. Well, hey, these geniuses, Dr. Peter Felker and Christian Scott, they're the mesquite sonoran innovators. They're the ones that did it. Honors to such a real game changer. A 25-foot sonoran forest 
canopy, shade, 25 feet high, and it fertilizes the soil. It provides shade, the nitrogen regeneration for gardens. It's state-of-the-art botany, made specifically to save desert soils. Mesquite tree, majestic. Val Vista, California is the head office for altmanplants.com. It's the third largest nursery for plants in the United States. And hey, beautiful Sudan. I love that country. Why? Because my videographer is from there. He's a great man. Africa. Just think, Sudan planted with 10,000 Sonora mesquites. Sudan, it's Pharaoh's land. They're the ones that invented Hyro. Glyphics. They're the ones that had the pyramids. Now it can be eaten. Fantastic. A land in sh 20 short years. That's all it's going to take for Sudan to be a garden. It would be the Kush Kingdom exotic again. Now Phoenix, Arizona, right here on Southern Avenue, that nursery myth of Altman, altmanplants.com, it's going to change the world. Genetically creative solutions to all arid lands worldwide. Just think of all of Australia covered with Sonoran, Sonoran mesquite. Oh, that's great. Trusting in God to send us answers. There's the answer. New Gardens of Eden. Australia could be a garden. Sweet. Arizona is going to be a garden. Thriving forests on very little water. Changing lives forever. Living in a Sonoran mesquite tree wonderland. It's botany's true power. Yes, I scream it from the rooftops. I'm telling everybody in videos, in sonnets that are genuine. All of these sonnets, this is the first take. It's authentic. It's genuine. And I'm telling you, God bless the Noran Mesquite, a tree sent to us from heaven. Love yourself and love those who love you. And I'm just telling you, this Mesquite Sonoran, I'm begging you. I'm beseeching you. Importuning you. I'm telling you, hey, hey, please, we got to spread the word. Help me. Sonoran Mesquite is going to change the world. Every desert is going to be a garden. It is going to change the world. And I'm telling you, it's going to start with Sudan, and it's going to start with the Sudanese National Choir, because this is dedicated to them. They're the ones in my my videographer, Dr. Mohamed Frega. He's going to help, and we're going to change the world. Why? Because it's in your hands. Study up on this. Don't believe me. Study up on this Sonoran mesquite tree. You'll understand. You'll see. Where's the vision? Just think of the future. A new place all over the world just in 20 years. No more deserts, okay? And, and uh, try to help me. I'm asking for your help. I always ask for help. This is my 77th birthday, and I took it to say, hey, mesquite, mesquite, mesquite. I want to tell the world to no. know. So at least I tried. What are you doing to help? What are you doing? I need your help. Please, mesquite, sonoran, spread the word. Do something. God bless us, everyone. Allah ja pour vous. Au revoir.